There has been no pangolins for a long time, for like 50 years. Is it easy to find a pangolin when it's got a tag? No. <laughs> it's probably one of the most frustrating processes ever. My breath is the strongest the breeze blowing at the moment. The first story was uh, quite an interesting one. She was found like in a steel drum at the back of someone's house. It is an incredibly frustrating process. It's time consuming. It, it tests every part of your mind trying to get an understanding of this animal. Find it, I'm telling you. He's here. He, he lost his tech and then we were like, what? What's going to happen with him? We have to run to that point and hope that he's still there. But when you see a pangolin being born and you get to see a pangolin coming from such poor shape to this, it makes every hour that you spend in the bush being charged by animals, losing sleep, it makes it worth Like, there's no better reward. He can cover a lot of distance in an hour. Those are the small legs, but they they go. To, know, to have a pangolin give birth on this reserve successfully, knowing that that pangolin, through all that trauma, through all that madness, survived, pushed through, became settled, and was able to give birth to this amazing little animal. You know, the first pangolin pup born in this area in, in many, 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 many years. The conservation of a pangolin, of an endangered species, of the most trafficked animal in the world is, is never going to be easy. That animal is still wild. Anything can happen out there.